Imagine I showed you two videos. One's from a professional Hollywood VFX studio and the other is from a banana. Well, today I'm gonna show you how you can use Google's brand new AI Nano Banana to create music video effects super easily. Let's go. So guys, this is Nano Banana. I just went to their website, nanobanana.ai, and it's basically an image generator by Google Gemini, and it's really easy to use. You can use it inside of Google Gemini, or you can use it on their website right here. Now let's make some crazy looking music video effects. So the effect type we're going for today is based off tripod shots. It works best when there's like not a lot of movement going on. Right here, we have this clip from Drake's music video, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and grab a screenshot by clicking this export frame, and then, and then you can name it whatever you want and hit export. Now I'm gonna come back over to Nano banana.ai and I'm going to just go ahead and add my image right here. I'm gonna select my screenshot right here. I'm gonna hit open it and then this is the really cool part. So they have this, this prompt feature. I mean, it's like any other AI image generator, but I can go ahead and type whatever I want to be added to the scene. So as you can see, I just typed up my prompt right here. I said, surround the person by giant ice sculpted owls on the left and right, make them have like ice shavings on the floor and then also keep the middle center of the image exactly the same. Do not change anything there. And and then maybe also add some frozen ice schools to the top right and left. Now, the cool thing about this is I'm just gonna go ahead and hit generate now and you see it's gonna generate our image. Now, the cool thing I love about this AI visual effects method is that it actually stays relatively consistent. And voila, there we go. We have this crazy image generated right here. We got Drake and he's surrounded by some giant ice owls and there's ice shavings on the floor and icicles on top, just like everything we requested. Other AI image generator models uh, kind of have like a consistency issue. Some of them are getting relatively well. Runway AI, HigsfieldAI.com are also two good ones to uh, to check out and these are also other great image generators i'll just show you hicksfield you can for example take an image and then you can literally create a video from the image itself which is really cool you can even use google vo3 which it's like Google Nano Banana to Google VO3, you're staying in the, the ecosystem. And then you can turn the image into a video. We're not gonna be doing any of that today, but today we're creating static visual effects replacements. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop my Nano Banana scene right here. If you actually don't like it, we can actually go ahead and change some things. I actually just go, might go ahead and do another run and tweak the prompt because I don't actually like this floor. I wanna keep the floor exactly the same because our subject will be moving around here. So let's go ahead and just run it again. We're gonna tweak the prompt to this. So this is the new result that we got. As you can see, we have two crazy ice owl sculptures added to our image just on the left and right, just like we described. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the opacity so I can make sure I line this up perfectly with our scene right here. And now what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and just mask it out. So click on your image, go to the effects controls, go to your opacity, and I'm just gonna drag a circle around our subject. We are going to make sure we invert it. And then that way, and by the way, this, this image is on top of our already moving video clip. If we play it out, you see we have our subject and he's moving around, but the rest of the image is static. And so it looks like the ice owls are added to the scene, but we're just gonna wanna go ahead and make sure we adjust the mask. And yeah, there we pretty much have it, a cool way to keep our subject masked out while still having the visual effects in the background. Now let's go ahead and spice it up. So I'm gonna go to YouTube actually, and I'm gonna grab some snow overlay particles. So you can just go ahead and search snow snow particles overlays on YouTube and then download any of these that you like. I have this download over here, so I'm gonna drag and drop it, and then I'm gonna change this blend mode to screen, and then I'm gonna scale it up, and there we go. Now we have some crazy looking snow applied over our scene, and the more movement that you add on top of the static AI images, the more realistic the effect is gonna look. Okay, so now that we have all of our layers added, I'm just gonna select everything, I'm gonna nest it, and then I'm gonna go over here to my effects. So I'm gonna apply the Sapphire Grunge effect. Sapphire is a paid plugin, but dude, I'm telling you the effects they make are insane so as you can see i applied it and it looks like it just messed up our footage but don't worry scroll over here to the sapphire grunge hit load preset and then we are going to change this preset to cold as ice i'm gonna hit load and as you can see we have these crazy ice like surrounding borders now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set a keyframe at the stamp density at like 166 and then go to the very beginning and set it to zero and then that way we have this really crazy looking like freezing effect as the video starts playing and it's on top of the video with the snow. It just looks absolutely insane. Now, of course, no effect is done without camera shakes. So to do our camera shakes, we're gonna actually go to window, we're gonna hit extensions and we're gonna go to our AI auto edit plugin, which we just released for Premiere Pro. Auto edit automatically edits music videos to the beat of music in one click and it adds visual effects and transitions and does a bunch of other crazy stuff. But one of my favorite features about it is its visual effects applier right here. So as you can see, 
see I'm in manual mode and I can go over here to any like beat hit on the song and let's do an invert flash effect. I hit apply and as you can see, we added a crazy camera shake just with the click of a button. There's like, I think 50 presets in here. We can do literally whatever we want. That one adds a shake like that. There's other ones in here. Let me see what else we got. We have a swipe effect. That one's really cool. And just a bunch of other cool presets in here. We don't even, we have more than camera shakes. There's, there's like CRT glitches. We got film burns. We got film borders actually. I actually might add a film border. So let's go over here. I'm gonna add film border overlay right here. And then, yeah, look at that. That's looking pretty sick. Uncheck uniform scale and increase the height. Voila, just like that, we have a nice film border applied to our video. And then if I wanna take it a step further, I'm gonna go ahead and add a film burn. I'm gonna use overlay three right here. And then that way we have this crazy like film looking filter with camera shakes and everything applied to our video just with the click of a button. You guys saw how easy that was. That was pretty crazy. Last thing I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go back to my effects and search for my Dehancer orange and teal color grade. This is just my personal preference, but it adds like a cool blue color grade to it. It makes it feel a lot more colder in the scene. And yeah, there you pretty much have it. A crazy looking like ice snow effect. We got Drake, he's surrounded by two OVO iced out owls, literally. Created all with AI and just the click of a button. So as you can see, there's completely unlimited possibilities to Nano Banana. Will it replace Photoshop? I don't know. Now Photoshop actually released their own AI Firefly tool way back in 2023. So they were actually doing this uh, quite a long time ago. I don't know why everyone's kind of like talking about like, oh, it's gonna replace Photoshop. Photoshop was able to do a pretty good job. So I have a document right here. I have the image and we're just gonna go ahead and put it to the test to see if Photoshop can create a similar result. I actually kind of sometimes like Photoshop a little bit better because they have this like selection tool so I can choose what areas I want to add generative effects to. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste my exact same prompt as you can see it said add a giant ice sculpted out on the left, make it out of ice shavings and let's go ahead and hit generate. So Photoshop's gonna take a couple seconds to generate and it's actually gonna generate three results for me. I also don't run out of credits here on Photoshop because I do have my Adobe Creative Cloud subscription but let's see, let's just go ahead and see if it, okay so this is what it made so far. That one Oh Honestly, God, probably won't go with this one. No. This one's kind of a little bit whack. And this is another one. Okay, so so Photoshop is honestly getting a start. I personally wouldn't use any of these results so far. So back to the question, is Nano Banana AI better than Photoshop Generative AI? I would say at the moment, yes, definitely. Um, it's the results that Nano Banana has been able to put out are just relatively way better compared to Photoshop, are just way better compared to the results of Photoshop. I think of course with a couple more months and training, Firefly could of course improve. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you use Nano Banana AI to add music video effects to your videos. And then also uh, stay tuned because we will be making an update video with the Higgsfield AI and how you can create moving videos. Overall, I honestly think it's just a really interesting time. I don't think these tools should be here to replace our creativity. And as in like, we should completely rely on them to, you know, edit our videos for us, but I do believe that we should be using it to speed up the processes that would have taken us a long time anyways, and then that way we can like, you know, be more creative as a whole. If that makes sense, that's just what I think. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. If you wanna learn how to automatically edit your music videos in one click, you can check out this video linked right here.